Growing up in Atlanta, I remember 1993, Sir Mix-a-Lot's Baby Got Back. And I remember when he said red beans and rice didn't miss sir. <laughs> I was like, my God, it's so true, it's so true. And that, growing up in the 90s, like the, the, that was my image of what a black woman's body should look like. Um, plus, I had lots of women around me who affirmed that. Like growing up in the South, you know, being a, a black woman, being thicker, having a big booty, having big thighs, having like like a brick house, you know, like that that was the standard. So I think I just thought that I would grow up and look like that. And um, I did grow up and look like that, but I didn't appreciate it because when my body came about, I was going to school with predominantly white students. And I look at them and then I look at me and I was thinking that I was overweight. And so body image shifted. It shifted with times. And this is something as a black woman, as a woman in general, you are dealing with body image issues. As a black woman, you're dealing with a particular set of body image issues. And this Saturday, we're going to be talking about that. The relationship that we have with our bodies and the connection that we have with our bodies colors the way we walk through the world. And so how do you change that? How do you shift from the poor body image that you have to a body image that celebrates you, that honors you, and that allows you to walk through earth as if you are the queen that you are? This Saturday, I'm going to be speaking at Brown Bodies, A Journey to Acceptance. And we'll be talking about how to shift from emotional eating to mindful eating as a practice in building a stronger body image of yourself. And if you haven't gotten your ticket, then you need to do so. I'll see you Saturday, ladies.